just to be just just to be close to you the moment we've all been waiting for as we all welcome apostle david e taylor here tonight good evening sir from the houston hello Kansas. god bless hello you. God bless everybody sir. how y'all doing it's a beautiful night tonight where we have at least 181 nations tuning in apostle to hear and to see what god's gonna do tonight. and 81 nations did you hear that 181 nations you see uh, you cannot, I, I've had preachers come and they look at the numbers we have on Zoom or Facebook and it only show 100 or on Zoom 200. But you got to understand, we have a global ministry. I have a website that people get on. They're getting on by the hundreds of thousands. We have a website analysis that tell us how many people are on, where they're from. You got to understand, even in Pakistan, where over a million people showed up in my service, they all know me, but they're not on Facebook. So a lot of people, they're like, oh, if you don't have all these numbers on Facebook or all these uh, these social media places, then your ministry must not be large. That is that is so crazy. You know, everything is not judged by social media. You can't you can't judge by how many numbers are on Zoom, Facebook. I know the millennial generation, they judge by that, but they, they think we are uh, exaggerating the numbers. We're not. It's, it's the truth. Right now, I think our TikTok is what, 10, 10 million views? Is that right, Joseph? 10 million? Yes, it's uh, 15 million views, sir, on TikTok. And I, I think they're blocking me on, I just feel like they've been blocking me on Facebook and on YouTube ever since they took down my channel, guys. I know we're living in a social media generation and they judge everything by your numbers on social media. And as y'all know, uh, Facebook took down my real page that had millions of followers, actually. That's why it, it, it you, you know, our numbers are even low. And <clears throat> also, they took down my original YouTube that started in 2007. And y'all saw even when that racist tried to do all of that to destroy me. Ever since they messed with me, I don't know who's behind it, but somebody at Facebook and YouTube, they've been messing with my stuff. And they, it's like they're trying to shut me down, but you can't shut down something that God has established. And so y'all seen the storms and warfare I've even been through uh, of them trying to stop me. And they can't, you can't stop Jesus face to face. What is wrong with you? <laughs> you know, by the time you think you caught him, he didn't disappear and he's on the other side. <laughs> While you try to catch him, he could yank you by your neck and throw you on the ground. Oh, Jesus wouldn't do that. Oh, yes, he would. If he'll throw you in the hell, he'll do that too. <laughs> I guarantee you that, but <laughs> I'm just saying this to all these social media junkies out here. These these social media, I, I call them uh uh um proselytes. Their whole life is filtered through a social media lens. Like they judge everybody by how big and you are and how known you are by how many views you got on social media. Listen, social media didn't make me or break me. <laughs> you understand? Don't be a punk to the devil. Don't be a punk to this social media generation because I'm not a punk to them. That's right. I said that. I said a punk. That's what I said. And I'm not a sissy. You want me to get deeper with it? I'm not a sissy to them. That's right. If you fight them and God is with them, there's no way you're going to win against them. I know God is with me personally, face to face. So I don't care who say God ain't and I don't care who don't believe he ain't. So just try to fight me and let's see who's going to win. Let's see who's going to come out on top. When God tells me to do something, these pastors got to submit. I'm not going to listen to them no more, especially when there's a divine command. As you know, the Lord came to me in a dream in 2007 and said, I've now given you what Moses had. And he said, in, in other words, I will come down on earth in a cloud with you like I did Moses and the children of Israel. I will work with you like him. That's right. You, you, you shouldn't be no chump preacher, no chump minister. That's right. Like these, the rest, a lot of these weak, this weak Christianity church today, they have no power. There's no kingdom in them. 
Until you get that, you ain't doing the kingdom. I don't care how, how many theology schools you've been to. I don't care how seemingly intelligent you sound when you talk. If you have no power, you are not bringing God's kingdom. It says knowledge puffs you up. Knowledge makes you arrogant. That means when you get more knowledge or you, you think you know a lot, you think you know almost everything. hallelujah i love ruffling the feathers of my enemies and all all of the religious crowd if you religious you're gonna get mad when i talk (laughs) that's right i i I come to shake the 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 spirit of religion to crumbs just to be close to you is my desire